So, all right, we're on. All right, so here I am driving a Tesla. I, I just ordered one, and uh, you can tell I'm not driving, obviously. Now, what's Coco say back here? Is the dog driving? Is Coco driving? What do you think, Coco? <laughs> this is pretty awesome because we're in San Diego's crappy traffic, and the car, let me show them the dashboard now. The car is going 19 miles an hour, and it is self-driving. Pretty darn swank, huh? And there's, of course, the Tesla dashboard and so forth. And so uh, the autopilot function, this is the reason I bought the car. I mean, the autopilot is the name of the game for me. And it's just great. Like, you can literally sit here and do whatever you want. Now, there's a truck right in front. Show the truck. And the car is keeping up with the truck. It'll auto lane change. Can I try another lane change, do you think, in, uh, this, in this tight it's, traffic? It's a little tight, but we can... I mean, follow. the car won't do it until it can do it, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Let's, I'll do it on this side. How's sure. that? Or do you want me to do that? So Let's do the right side. Okay. Okay, so now this is tricky. Okay, so I'm gonna. Okay, so here's the signal's on. It's gonna change lanes when it can. It's just gonna wait till it can, right? It'll have to speed up and it'll have to have enough of a distance. But yeah, we're pretty I, I hope it has to have enough of a distance. Okay, we're completely stopped now. And uh, it's probably looking for its opportunity. Interesting. This is we amazing. probably won't be here for a while. And I can see, I can see on the screen that it's you can tell it's looking the, the ultrasonic sensors are looking and uh, this is just amazing wow like i've said before on my podcast the self-driving car is a the autonomous vehicle is a massive game changer and uh let's turn down avici here for a moment because if you think about it the whole concept of real estate has always been location 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 Right? That's been the cardinal rule of real estate forever. I mean, since people were living in caves, if your cave was better located than another cave, that was a big deal. But now, this might lead to the resurgence of the suburbs. Who knows? I mean, if you can get in your... I mean, think about it. Do you need to live... Like, I live in La Jolla, California. A very expensive market. One of the most expensive zip codes in the country. Do you really need to live in La Jolla if you can live in the inland areas and just have your car drive you to La Jolla? I mean, um, do you need to, uh, you know, I gave the example before on my podcast about Phoenix, if you, when I lived in Phoenix. So, you know, if you, if you live in Phoenix and you like the beach and every Friday night, instead of going to sleep in your bed, you just jump in your car and go to sleep there. Now, of course, you can't do this yet, but it's right around the corner, okay? The law has to catch up. The laws need to change. Obviously, the technology is not quite there, but it, but it's almost there. And our turn signal's still on, by the way. We're waiting for the car to decide when to change lanes <laughs> rather than uh, the humans. Um, Coco, are you going to decide on the lane change? What do you think? Yeah, see? She's just back there checking it all out. And, and you can pet the dog. It's really nice because you can totally play with the dog back here. <laughs> and uh, so, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, if you can go to sleep in your self-driving car and wake up seven hours later refreshed, feeling great. Maybe it's a self-driving motorhome, you know, who knows. And uh, you wake up at the beach. You know, what does that mean for the, the $8 million home in La Jolla? I say downward price pressure. Uh, what does it mean for the uh, lower cost homes in the suburbs? Now, of course, people will still care about the the three block radius of their home and, you know, the school districts and obviously all that stuff still matters. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, do you need to live in Manhattan, New York, if you can live in the outlying areas? And, uh, of course, there you have a parking problem. But uh, it, it's just, a, it raises interesting questions. Location, location, location. Is that still the issue? Is this car ever going to change lanes? We don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I think we've gone on long enough here, so I'll take the camera back and turn us off. Coco, say goodbye. Yeah, we're, car's still driving itself. <laughs>